Hi, this is David. Today I want to talk about Azure Active Directory Groups. A group is a way of bringing together uh, in a logical grouping a bunch of users or devices within Azure Active Directory. So to work with groups, we need to log into the portal. I've logged in as an administrator here. I'm going to search for Azure Active Directory. There it is. And you can see under Manage, there's a button here for groups. That brings up this blade right here, and you can see a list of all existing groups already. And if I want to create a new group, I just simply click on the new group button right here, and this dialog comes up. First question asks us, what kind of it? What's the type of group? Is it a security group or a Microsoft 365 group? A security group is for applying permissions to a whole bunch of users at this or a bunch of devices at the same time. So, for example, if you want everybody, uh, all these people to have the same permissions to the same resources, put them in a group and you can assign permissions to that group and it'll automatically flow to the users of that group. A Microsoft 365 group used to be known as a distribution list, and that's a way of sending out messages to a lot of people at once. So you don't have to add all of their names in here. You can just say this is the uh, Azure uh, security mailing list and every, send a message to that and everyone will get that group will get that list. So I'm going to select security here. I need to give it a name. I'm going to call it GCAST group. Pretty good name. A description. Then for GCAST. Right here. Um, and then it asks you, can do I want to assign Azure AD rule AD roles for that group? These are built-in roles that allow folks to uh, to manage Azure resources directly. Um, and uh, if I do look down here, you'll see that an extra when I say yes, this extra roles appears right here, and I can specify which role to which they are assigned. So that's one thing to do. I'll come back to that later. For now, I'll just say no, no for that one. Um, and then it asked me what, how do how do things get become members of this group? They can be assigned, and if I say assigned, which is what it is by default, then you can go in here and specify explicitly who is a member of the group. I could search for me. I'm in here and add myself to that group, and I could add. Oh, Adele here to the group. I can even add other groups to that group. And here, when I'm done, I click on done. That's one way of doing it, is explicitly doing it. Same thing with owners. You can go and say that uh, Adele, she's worked hard. She deserves to be the owner of that group. Um, you can only add one owner and then as many members as you want. Assigning is one way to do it. Another way is dynamically. So assigning is to add, assign um, users and groups to a group. With dynamic, you can also assign devices to the group. They both work the same way. Dynamic users and dynamic device works the same way. If I click on this, then instead of explicitly doing it, adding them, I can add a dynamic query. And this dialog comes up, and I'll add an expression. And I'll say something like, uh, anybody who is who has in the city equals Chicago is automatically a member of this group. Um, but they have to be in Chicago and they also have to be in the department uh, equals the Department of Redundancy Department, something like that. So you can string these together, these logical statements together with ands and ors, and that's how you do it. So anybody that meets the criteria here, if it's and, they have to meet all the criteria. If it's or, they have to meet uh, either criteria. And that's how dynamic membership works. It's the same way with, oh, cancel that. It's the same way if I selected dynamic devices. Same dialog comes up here, and I say that device. Tell me a device in which the uh, uh, display name, that's probably not like what I said, maybe the device OS type um, equals uh, iOS. So only devices that are iOS devices would be part of that group, something like that. Okay, uh, it's probably easier to demo if I just do the assigned one and I select 
where I was before. I undid that when I clicked away from it, but I'll add me to that group and I'll add uh, oh, that group to it and that lady to it. And I've got a group with three members right here and I can click on create. And it successfully created that group. It's now in this list here. And if you don't see it right away, then you can one, you can refresh it. This one is uh, happens to be right there, but maybe I have it, you know, many, many groups and it's down to the bottom of the alphabet. I can also search for it in here. And there it is right here. These are the details of it. If I want to, right now it's only got three members, but I can click on members and I can add new members later on. And specify yeah not only does this person have in it but uh cameron should be in that group and christine should be in the group and so on select that refresh that list and successfully add it so in this demo i've shown you how to create groups manage groups and add new members to a group in azure active directory this is david Thank you for watching. Yeah.